everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. If you are new, my name is Shannon. I do all sorts of content here on this channel from kind of day in the life vlogs, travel adventures, motherhood content, currently pregnancy content because I am 35 weeks pregnant and kind of DIY, crafts, all of that stuff. So if any of that sounds like your cup of tea, then please do subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you. So today I thought I would sit and talk through our little boy's new bedroom. We have just done up his room. He is two and a half almost and we moved into this house last March <laughs> and since then his bedroom has been very much needing a little bit of love it's basically been the same as when we moved in the curtains were still the old I was gonna say floral but they're not even floral they were like some weird pattern I don't know they were not the nicest um his walls were like textured wallpaper um and his ceiling was textured and just the whole room was very dark and dingy and like I felt guilty that <laughs> that was his bedroom but he actually didn't care like he's too young to care so um yeah these things take time we can't do the whole house when you first move in and um i am very glad now though that it is done because it's another room ticked off from the house and i'm so happy with how it's turned out as well if you follow me on instagram you probably have seen little bits and bobs already you're probably bored of seeing it so <laughs> sorry but um for those of you who are either new or are interested in seeing it i thought i would just do a little bit of like a i'm gonna say room tour but it's honestly <laughs> such a tiny little room um but kind of just a tour and like just talk through the little bits we've got about and the decor bits and um yeah just let you know where I got things and I'll leave everything linked below that I can as well we kind of went for a bit of a car theme because he loves cars like more than anything in this world he loves cars so um yeah the room is definitely kind of my aesthetic with a little bit of car theming here and there like i said he is only like not even two and a half so he really doesn't care all that much here's a little before clip of his room you can see the lovely magnolia textured walls the textured ceiling the lovely curtains it was just it it was just not the nicest room like it had no character and um was just so dark and dingy in there and just a bit of a mess so that was the before i think i'm just gonna sit here and talk to you rather than like walk around the room and i'll just put overlay clips of the things i'm talking about because like i said this room is small so it makes sense to do it that way so i guess firstly his bed it is a cot bed it's the cot um that he's slept in the whole time that he's been in a cot um but we have recently just taken the sides off like with the room do over we decided to transition him from a cot into a big boy bed and touch wood it's gone so well it's been like a week and a half now and I really don't want to jinx it and I know that it can change at any point but he's handled it so well like he just sleeps like he he doesn't really get out like he's had the odd fallout of bed in the middle of the night but generally like he's doing so well and I, yeah I'm definitely jinxing it saying this but it was something I was really really nervous about doing and I thought why are we doing this now because he sleeps so well in a cot like don't break what's no was it don't fix something if it's not broken that um but equally I'm glad that transition is done now before the new baby comes so that's not like a big change that has to happen whilst we're adjusting to all the other big changes so yeah his cot I think it was originally mama's and papa's but we got it from Facebook marketplace like before he was even born it's like a wood colour but it had scribbles on it and stuff so we've sanded it painted it and I did actually give it a fresh coat of paint when I did the bedroom um but yeah so that's his bed his bedding is from the great trading company the great little trading company something like that i will link it below let me tell you that bedding is expensive like i like to buy our bedding from george asda but i really fell in love with this bedding but luckily i found someone selling it brand new like in the packaging on ebay for like a fraction of the cost so i wouldn't have paid full price for it i don't think because I'm just too tight but um, I'm really glad that I was able to find it so definitely always have a look around like I'm such like a a bargain hunter right we'll always try and find something for the best price possible so yeah I'm really happy with that I think it is just gorgeous it's like car themed but not too in your face like a lot of them that you do get from like George Asda or Next or Argos or whatever they're all very loud and they're great and I'm sure we'll end up having big in your face character bedding 
as time goes on. But for now, whilst he doesn't care, like, he was so happy with this bed in. Like, he lays there and he goes, like, because his pillow's obviously got cars on and stuff, he's like, bus, yellow truck, road, track. Like, he likes to point it out and he loves it. Um, on his bed, he's got a little decorative cushion, which he, again, loves. He literally, his cushion and his Mickey Mouse teddy, which you would have probably also seen on the overlay, are, like, his favourite things ever. He will not sleep without that Mickey Mouse. So he has Mickey Mouse, like, on his chest and he twizzles his tail as he's falling asleep and then he has the cushion like the other side of him he does also have like a normal pillow um but yeah like the car cushion you just hear him going like nino nino <laughs> um so yeah that was from h&m shelves behind me you see here they are the ikea i call i think they're called the, either the beck ram or the beck van I think shelves they're actually spice shelves um and they're really affordable compared to like normal kind of bookshelves they are little like if you can see they are small but for his age and for the books like I love having them forward facing I think it is such a feature um so we've got three of those hung up and on there we've got a selection like he's got loads of books most of them are downstairs but um I kind of stuck to like car themed books up here I think there is actually of the odd one that snuck on that isn't car themed but um i picked up a good mixture of them like these ones um i got from vintage and i actually love that they're a little bit like you know used like battered they're hardback books but they don't look hardback they look like little paperback ones but yeah there was like loads of them there's a mater there's a lightning mcqueen there was a sally there's a um I can't really remember to be honest a we've got a good few of those ones anyway i think they look really cool we also have um loads of these cool cars i think it came in like a set of 10 or something these were actually from amazon buzz isn't mega into books but like i said he loves cars so the plan is fill his little book world with car books and hopefully he will learn to love books um so yeah, I just thought to kind of bring the car theme together, I would put loads of car themed books on his shelves. I also got this um, one. I don't know if I said the cars ones, like the Disney cars ones I got from Vinted. Um, I also got this from Vinted, George's racing car. Some of these might be a little bit kind of young now, but honestly, I don't really care what we sit and read because if I can get him to sit through a book, like I'm happy. Um, this one, definitely like a bit old for him but I love these little people big dream books I love how they look and they actually recently bought out a Lewis Hamilton one so Buzz doesn't know who Lewis Hamilton is but he will and again car theme so I thought perfect I got that from Amazon some other books you might have seen I just had on his windowsill are these ones which are ones that I want to try and read with him I actually got these all from Vinted and they're all about becoming a big brother because Everyone keeps asking me, is he excited about being a big brother? And the answer is, he doesn't have a clue. Like, he knows, he says there's a baby in my tummy, but does he know what that means? Like, absolutely not. So, I figured those books might be quite handy to kind of try and read with him and <laughs> give him a bit of an idea of, of what's about to happen. Um, so, yeah, they were all from Vinted as well, because I just think, why not? Like, why not buy them secondhand? Because books like that, especially when it's like as kind of niches like becoming a big brother like that's not going to be something he reads for ages um and buying them all brand new from amazon would have cost loads so definitely have a look on like facebook marketplace vintage charity shops things like that um this little camera is also on his windowsill this was a gift from a friend it's like a little vlogging camera on a tripod it has interchangeable lenses which is so cute the um camera bag for it is actually hanging on his wooden peg board which you would have seen I'll talk through that now um so that wooden peg thing um I actually got from eBay I saw it originally on H&M but it was really expensive the difference with that one was that the little like hanging knob things were painted in really cute pastel colors um and I might well paint these in cute pastel colors but um yeah that was more like 16 18 pounds I think and I found this one on eBay for more like four pounds or something like that and it's perfect it does the job and I love how it looks so yeah the actual wooden hanger was from eBay there's the green bee so I'm just looking 
um, the green bee crochet hanging wall decor thing it was from a lovely lady who really kindly made and gifted it to us we've got quite a few of her bits um, she does fab crochet so I'll definitely link her below but yeah she made this wall hanging for Buzz's old bedroom but I definitely wanted to have it in here as well um, so I love that and then there's the you are the magic <laughs> flag which is actually something that I made and it's a product that I sell on my small business which has currently shut whilst I'm on maternity but um yeah I really love those I think they are so cute if I do say so myself and then yeah that little bag hanging is just hanging there for the moment but it's what um the little wooden vlogging camera came in and it's got like the changes of lenses and stuff in there um and then underneath that you can see the little colourful pom-poms that was from a small business on Etsy I think they're called Bray and blue or something like that if I'm saying it wrong I'm really sorry but I will link it below and then lastly on there is that little 2021 pennant flag which is something else that I made um I love that little look I see them so much on kind of like toddler room inspo so I thought I'd give making my own a go and I'm really happy with how it turned out so yeah I love that little section of the room I think Obviously none of it is like essential, it's all just like little decorative knickknacks but I really love how it looks. Um, on top of his wardrobe we've got loads of teddies, um, this isn't actually all of his teddies but um, it is a lot. <laughs> I don't love like the look of having like loads and loads of teddies but equally he's got them and loads of those ones are like sentimental and things so I might I've seen like you can get like crochet looking like hammock things that kind of go in the corner of a room so um I'll link below what I'm talking about in case you were interested in looking but I think we might get one of those and hang it in that corner just so they're like a bit more out of the way because he doesn't really play with them but he does like to look at them um so yeah really like those his wardrobe was from Facebook marketplace um it's a really good solid wardrobe it's still the kind of colour that it was when we got it from there which is like an off-white kind of grey colour I think we're gonna paint it I don't know I, I, it needs a freshen up it's like scuffed and stuff but I don't know whether to paint it um in like a similar colour to what it is now or in this blue colour to like bring the room together I don't know but it does also need the knobs changing because one is missing um it's currently got these like cloud knobs but I think they look like cars so part of me is like can I source another one that matches and then like paint on them or like turn them into cars somehow I don't know but um yeah that is definitely something I need to do his curtains were from Dunelm as was the curtain pole they're like blackout curtain he just got home from nursery and he's ready to come into his room for his nap so I'm gonna rush this but yeah the rug was from H&M home and it was a really good price it was like 15 pounds but then they had 20% off or something like that so for like a like a really lovely rug um, and it fits his room size perfectly. I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, this bunting, this bunting here was H&M Home as well. And it's just gorgeous. And the print I made myself. The frame was from Georgia Asda. The scallop wall, I just, it, like, I love scallop walls. And I actually am going to put a clip in here of me kind of doing the process of the scallop wall. It was so much easier than I thought. Like, I was really nervous to do it. I thought, I'm not going to be able to do this, like loads of people do it I'm rubbish at DIY and stuff but it's turned out perfect like and the color is gorgeous the color is actually um the original color that I chose is a color called Morris Blue from Craig and Rose but Craig and Rose seems like a bit of a bougie paint paint brand and I got the sample from B&Q but they didn't actually have the full size in you'd have to order it off their website so I went to the Valspar desk and they colour matched it for me which is obviously a lot cheaper and um, yeah I'm obsessed with the colour I think the rest of the room is like white which I've never really gone for like a fully white room before with this wall like I think it looks perfect and obviously where it's such a small room it is like it just works really well I'm so happy with how it turned out um, I do actually have something else that is due to arrive which um, I'll link below it's basically like you know those um, cord names that you see I don't know if you see I've ordered it in like a lemonade -y kind of um, yellow color and yeah it just says buzz so that's going to go on the wall up there as well um but yeah i'm really really happy with this room the light fitting was just a shade from ikea we actually had it in his old bedroom but we left it at that house we've just rebought it which is just silly but um yeah i'm so happy with this room the chair i'm sat on actually is um a chair that I used to have at my desk and it is pink uh which isn't maybe the most like boy friendly color but 
he doesn't care <laughs> and it goes with the room and for now like it's perfect he can sit here and flick through books and whatever else so yeah that is his bedroom uh if you've got any questions about anything please do let me know below and um yeah i hope you like it and i'll see you very very soon for another video bye guys Mwah.